Okay, so we have ourselves our grand finals with Violet Citizen here and Shiny Peak. I'm gonna welcome back the uh, commentators. Oh, All right, there you go, yeah. homies. Right. All right. I, I, I yeah, as I was saying, I, I quite enjoy Violet's team, dude. It's this reminds me of teams that I used to run. <laughs> yeah, I mean. We're gonna see the uh, dry skin uh, toxic hook here to counter the waters. Now that I think about it, he's got I mean, literally all three mystic moves. <laughs> that he's got. Uh, I mean, he's the only, all the, the only swords of the sword of justice that he's missing is the uh, is Verizion, which I mean, let's be honest, it's not exactly a good mon. <laughs> I would have been mega. Yeah, you're not, you're not missing much of that. Oh, here comes the Komodo versus Dracovish. Both teams are lead. What stops Dracovish from just clicking Scarf Outrage here? I mean, I guess the Kabalion. Kabalion is is an option. However, it'll be dangerous yeah. to make some moves here on Shady's part. Kabalion's gonna come out on the Psychic Fangs. It's only gonna do nothing. Not gonna do a lot. Not gonna do a lot, which is very nice. So it's probably like rocks volt switch. Uh, yeah, probably probably running volt switch on here. Could be volt switch, however. Yeah. Yep. You're gonna volt switch on the rack when you yeah. can. into the back into the combo here. Uh, there is no hazard removal, so this unless he's running defog on conk, which isn't exactly a common pick, but it could be something that we could see here. Conk is massive destruction machine. Is it's, that's exactly why I don't. One man army. I don't. That's exactly why I don't think we're gonna see a default come out. Or we're just gonna see Klein or Soul come out with threat spray. Um. Uh. I see. Yeah. Uh. Eh, oh, oh wow, Lantern! Is. Is. I always forget how fat Lantern is, and it gets paralyzed. Lantern, Lantern is quite really a height beast. Yeah, I mean, he's got that base 125, uh, Lantern with that base 125 HP actually surprisingly living. Now we're probably gonna see the Dracovish go for our Psychic Fangs here. Yeah, it's gonna do a lot, it's not gonna kill. And it's gonna go down to the Kleiner's, Kleiner Scales. Ah, that's unfortunate. So... Hit these off for strong I don't know uh, what what you really do here if you're Shanny. I mean, you just gotta you gotta make sure that this combo dies. But like, what do you do after? I mean, you got your Dracovish, which is one of your strongest Pokemon. This is out of it, out of it. Yeah, I think the thing is with, with that Komodo being paralyzed, it was pretty easy for Shanny to revenge skill. However, the hard part comes now when, with two Pokemon already dead on on Shanny's side of the field. Pip is gonna be yeah. in a great position. Yeah. Pip's team is still extremely healthy with only with only Cobalion taking damage and it's at 86%. It's not not looking good so far. But we could yeah. still see something change. Yeah, no rain up. This Ludicolo isn't gonna be powered up. Uh, it's just gonna set us on rain, but oh wow, it lives this it lives, but it won't live its own life orb recoil. Uh, so it's gonna be able to fire off one hit, but then it's gonna go down to its own life orb. Yep, sounds about right. So I think I think we're gonna see Pip coming in. Uh, Pip, uh, the oh. unfortunate hydro pump myth. That hydro pump myth is quite bad, honestly. That that was unfortunate. Uh, would have gotten rid of this Kabalion, but now we're gonna see the Arachnid come in here, resist both both the Kabalion stabs. But Kabalion's just gonna both switch out here, probably into this. Tops broke to take the water move. There's the hard switch. On the liquidation. There's the dry skin. Alright, think about it. This team is actually very strong against many different types. Yeah. And we're gonna see bulk up Toxic Rogue here. This oh. Milotic, even if. It's not really going to be able to do much. It's only going to be able to ice beam, and Toxicroak is going to be able to recover back with Drain 
punch. Last time I always hated Bates in my low kick and toss it hook matchup. Ah, uh, just gunk shot instead. That does a lot of damage. Just because the my CBS. low did not touch the toss it hook nearly just. Yeah, mm -hmm. my Lord's not oh, really able honestly. to do much against the Toxic Hook. I mean, I think... I think this Grand Final is going to be coming to a lap soon enough. Not do... Oh! Nope. There he falls out. Yeah. That uh, was an unfortunate thaw. That's something that I've been noticing more and more often. Stuff doesn't stay frozen, even if you get the frozen. Even if you get the freeze, a lot of times it doesn't stay frozen. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that comes in, so, but I believe that's the focus It's gonna get the knockoff, it's gonna kill. That adapt that bandit, uh, that life of adaptability knockoff is very, very powerful. Alright. We're seeing to one of the same oh, types of magic. It's locked into knockoff, though. Or, no, it's not locked into knockoff, sorry. I thought it was banded for a second. Um, yeah, the Cronaut could still do some damage here, although it can't really touch the Keldeo. Yeah, I, I just can't see it. It's, 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 it's just kind of see 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 it. Yeah. So it looks like... Yep, and now the Arachnid comes out, just gets full switched on into the Keldeo, and that's going to be the game. This Citizen is going to get violent, and he's going to take the win over Shanapika. In order oh, to congrats him. to Violet here. Making a very nice... Very nice, uh, turn. Had a very nice run here. Yeah, I had a very, very nice run this this tournament, and the Air Slash is going to finish it off. Yeah, yeah got Air Slash this generation. <laughs> Good thing I got Cody. Yeah, and all the just got Air Slash this generation. Doesn't really help. It yeah. only really helps uh, killed, but hey. Hey, help versus glass type. That's always appreciated. All right. So all right, so what did you guys think about today's it. tournament? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not. I, I haven't enjoyed Monotype this generation, but you know, it was cool to see. I mean, Monotype's always very, very hit or miss. You just it, it's general. I mean, quite an interesting but, tier. But what did you think of this one? But like, you got to see it today. Yeah. So after seeing a, a bunch of matches, what did you think? Like, is it, uh, like, do you prefer it over uh, Gen Seven, or do you still think Gen Seven's better? No, I still like Gen Seven. Uh, I still like Gen Seven's Monotype a little bit better. I like the the Megas and throwing some stuff. Uh, Throwing some other different mons around, stuff that really mm -hmm. isn't in this generation. You know, I had okay. a love for Mono Fire last generation, throw it with Mega Hound Doom and uh, and a Talon Flame, just for just very powerful fire spam stuff that isn't in this gen. But you know, maybe I'll play it a little bit more. It's probably it's not my but, tier though, not my tier this. But gen. what did you think about like uh, what you saw in terms of variety? Like there was pretty decent amount of uh, types. I mean, we saw. I think we saw, we saw like a, a yeah. Amount of types. We saw electric, water, psychic, fighting, ghost. Yeah, I still uh, ghost and water popping up the most really shows the popular types of uh uh what's what people like to run in this in these tournaments. I mean, monotype. Very, I mean, you just want to pick the strong type, and I guess water and ghost are the two strongest, most spammable types right now. Yeah. I guess so. All right. Well, I mean, thank you guys so much for uh, commenting all these matches. And, you know, it's another showdown, Pal Town, come to an end. And then we start to discuss what the next one's going to be. So that's going to be three more this season. So I really wonder if we're going to see, like, some more rising stars like we've been seeing with Shiny Pika and Darth Yoshi. Or are we going to see some return of those legends like Lighthouses and, uh, and Serene Grey? So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. But once again, thank you all and see you next time.